All right, we're here with Molly. Mental Health Awareness Month. We just did a nice little three mile jog here in Queens. Last time you were here, you are running the marathon. How does it feel to slow down? It felt really nice. Like it was a chiller vibe. There weren't people screaming at us the whole time, but no, it was really fun. We had a bunch of people out from like Hell's Gate and just everybody from here in Queens. It's really cool to get to do something like this. All right, so the people are wondering, give us an update. Where are you, where are you at? Last time we sat down, we were in Austin, Texas. It was mm -hmm. kind of looking at 2023 and, you know, last we're putting last year behind us. Yeah. Um, it's been off to an interesting start. Uh, fully tore my glute at Half Champs um, two weeks before I was supposed to run a marathon. And I was like... I was so optimistic when it happened. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to turn this around. I'm still going to do a spring marathon. And then it took like three times longer to heal than it probably should have. But um, so yeah, probably looking forward to just doing some shorter races, getting a little bit of that speed back and trying to like really just focus on getting in like a good fall marathon, I think right now. So yeah, taking a little bit of a setback and trying to turn it into a positive. <laughs> All right. So what have you made of the performances in Boston, Emma crushing it. Oh and my just like... god. I was screaming. So we were actually out in Hawaii for that. We were doing an event for Hapalua Half and I woke up at like 4 a.m. to watch that and I'm like on the beach like streaming it on my phone looking like an absolute psychopath. But I it's so cool to get to see that. Like Emma is just incredible runner obviously like I don't know girl's tough as hell. It was really fun to get to watch that. And then like Alfie behind her as well just kind of also knocking mm -hmm. down a personal best. It's sort of like yeah. when we look at what 2020 was and where U.S. Women's Marathoning is. I mean it feels feels like it's a cliche now at this point. Uh, every single year to say oh it continues to level up but it's true. Yeah and that's what I think it is of like like women's running in the U.S. has hit this level where it's like it's not unexpected to see an American up in that front path of Boston anymore. It's almost like it, like it's become normal to see that. And I think that's the exciting part about it, of just being like, oh yeah, this is like, we should expect Emma Bates to be up there anyway. Like, why wouldn't she? So the perfect roadmap, like assuming you're back to full health between now and Orlando, how have you and John sort of started to map some of that out? Um, yeah, I feel like with schedules, we always write that in pencil because yeah. things change around so much. We're putting together like a preliminary um, schedule. I Something that I'm really looking forward to is I feel like I've had to be so focused on marathons that like we don't get to do a lot of races outside of that and so something that I really want to work on because marathons have gotten so fast now is doing the shorter races getting in that speed getting in just like that practice racing again so yeah I feel like that's uh one of my favorite things to do is just hop around to the shorter stuff maybe Falmouth maybe Beach Beacon like we're right now we're really aiming for like BA 10k in the spring so yeah we've got eight weeks to that we'll see if the butt holds up <laughs> um, yeah but I'm I'm really pumped for it and so, I mean, dropping down to shorter distances is me really track. No, no, God, no, <laughs> no way. That's been ruled out for a while. No, it, like maybe. I, I feel like before the Olympics, I did what was it, Portland Track Fest? Yeah, and, that's like, why. Work I asked. out before, get on the track. No, I see what people are running on the track nowadays. I'm like, yeah, I, I retired from the track. I'm done. Um. All right. So I think between now, potential fall marathon, then Orlando. I mean, all right, so we're, we're rooting for the Molly Seidel comeback. We're, we're rolling. We're, we're seeing how, the, how this thing goes. So, yeah, don't right. count me out. All right, Molly, thanks, thanks for catching thanks, up. Thanks, Chris.